So now going into this movie, I just find it hard to believe that any horror movie based off a kid's game hide and seek could actually be any good. <sighs> Was I wrong about that? Let's find out. And with that, I'm welcoming to another episode of The Real Mentor. My goal as always is to enhance the movie watching experience. So ready or not, here we have an interesting, clever, put, well put together film here. Uh, starring Samara Weaving, who plays uh, uh, Grace, who marries into his very rich family, a family which, uh, you know, built their fortune off gaming, you know, board games and cards, etc., etc. And they are, I'll say this right now, this is probably the most fucked up family you're ever going to meet. And they have this uh, interesting ritual where, uh, before they're in, really, really accepted into the family uh, upon the wedding night, they have to play a game. The bride or the groom has to play a game. And to play the game, they're accepted with open arms into the family. Now, that seems innocent enough. However, there's more to it, as you guys know by the trailers, that the game that she ends up choosing is probably the worst one she could have chosen. It's a game of hide and seek, which, again, as a kid's game, is very innocent. I get it. But unfortunately, this game is actually a game over her life, for she has to survive the night because the people actually finding her are actually out to kill her. Now, the trailers look very interesting, look kind of unique. Uh, a little bit off the wall, and that's exactly what we got. Here's a movie that I really enjoyed. I really liked it, um, and, and particularly because of Samara Weaving. She really held this movie together. She's great. A lot, lot of spunk to it. She delivered lines great. She really told the line with, with the humor, some of the dark humor in the movie, and her kind of setting the scene itself because you really, you're really following her as she's trying to keep hidden, try to escape, trying to fight back against this family who's trying to chop her up, and, and it really shines through here, and you really believe it. You really root for her, and she, she's... She has, she's a star in the making here. She hasn't done many movies in the past, but I can see she's got a lot of a lot of chops behind her, and she really sold that role really well. And this movie wouldn't have worked without her performance. So kudos to her. But um, it's just a very clever clever script. I mean, I like this mythology they built, and I won't spoil anything. But about this family, why they actually end up doing this game night kind of thing when someone's introduced to the family and the secrets behind it, and why they're forced to do so. And there's a lot of this, this movie gets very dark at times, and, and I like that world building that that's created here. Um, and, and and I love how and ultimately you're kind of guessing as to whether you believe what's going on or not. And that's why I love about the ending and what it gave us in the ending. Because I was kind of curious how they were going to tie things up. And the ending is really cool. I like how I loved how it ended. I like that the, the route that they took there. And, and I'll leave it at that. But it's, it's, again, it's a very well-paced movie. And after the first 10, 15 minutes, you have, you have the wedding ceremony. And of course, they set up the whole game night thing. And things just take off from there. It's very fast-paced. Fast a lot of tension. I like the way it's shot. It's kind of this old kind of Victorian look to it, style look to it. Uh, which really added an element of kind of a, of a haunted house kind of thing. And that re really uh, worked really well. The humor was there. You know, you have some little things that are over the top. Some of the characters. And it, this is a very simple premise. And it's a very simple movie in with the characters. So you, you have the protagonist clearly defined by Grace, of course, Samara Weaving. And you have the you know, antagonist as the family itself and the things that they do and want to do to her. Um, despite the reasons behind it. But... It works. Everything really works here, and I wish I would have gone. I wish I would have gone even more off the wall than it did. And I thought that, that's one thing. One of my minor complaints about the movie is that they had an opportunity to really get zany and crazy here, particularly with the humor, and it kind of played it safe at times. And I wish they really could just let it all out. But that being said, it is very entertaining. I like the idea behind it. Things really worked, and you know, thankfully for for Weaving's performance, everything is really held together really well. So it's not a way that's going to blow you away. I, I kind of wanted a little more out of it, but I still enjoyed it. I enjoyed the ride. I enjoyed the, the pacing. Enjoyed how it looked. Uh, some you know decent scares, I guess, here and there. It's more, it's more of a thrill than a harm way per se, but it's really well done, very well executed. Um, good idea. And again, it's just. It seems silly you, know, you, you hear the premise, but it works in this movie and they don't take themselves too seriously where it becomes something like like Truth of There, which is ridiculous a few years ago. But so, ready or not, so you guys watch it. I am going to recommend it. I was entertained. I liked it. Um, I'm not saying rush out to the theaters and watch this one. I think you could definitely watch at home. Um, I didn't enjoy the movie. I, I didn't love this movie. I wanted to love this movie. But it's still good. If you guys are in a theater, you guys can enjoy it, watch it at home. At some point, this needs to be watched by you, particularly if you're a horror movie fan, want something a little bit different. It's actually a unique idea, which really came together well. So really nice. Should you guys watch it? Absolutely. Uh, comment below. Let me know what you guys thought. And of course, if you haven't done so already, subscribe below and feed money to go to the movies and talk about it afterwards. See you guys next time.